Hi, Chuck back again with the build of the Racer Cube on the uh, mini mini quad, the 210 size mini quad. And I got the speed controls connected yesterday. Had the splice in the wires from the speed control out to the uh, leads from the motors and uh, finished them off with a, a wrap from um, wrap with some uh, self vulcanizing wrap. Um, really good stuff to use. Um, really looks nice not having the speed controls on the uh, arms and the, the wires flowing away from the, the speed control sort of make us, makes it look like exhaust manifold on a V8 or something like that. So that's pretty cool. Would be really neat to probably use uh, some contrasting colors on a different build. But, um, but pretty clean. Um, let's see, let's just take a look. I um, definitely secured some areas with hot glue the um, battery leads and the power cables up to the speed control. Um, Use some uh, hot glue there. And on the back, added some hot glue to the uh, PWM outputs from the speed control. Um, spliced in the uh, video out cable. And one problem with this uh, video out is that it's the plug as supplied is wired incorrectly. I had to swap the um, ground in the uh, video wire. So let me just quickly show you a, a picture of the uh, documentation. The um, documentation shows that the ground is on the inside and the um, video out is on the outside. Actually, I made a mistake writing this down here. The um, the documentation is correct and um, just pay attention and you may have to depin uh, the um, plug and reverse the wires here to get the, uh, your, your video to show. So if you're having a problem seeing your uh, video from your OSD, that's your issue right there. Um, you don't have to have a camera input source to uh, see your OSD output. So on the other end, I also spliced the cable or the supplied uh, connector into my HS uh, 1177 camera. So I got that working on 5 volts there. However, on the back for the video transmitter, I am using um, 12 volts off of the um, flight controller. So you can see the, the red and black wires are entering the um, flight controller separately from the video, uh, video out. So um, another note is that I have not been able to get RSSI working properly. Um, not sure exactly what's going on there. I'll continue to play with it, but it just might be one of those things that I just have to give up on this quad. Um, let's see. I guess that's probably about it right now. I, I did do some major firmware upgrades on this. This quad today, I upgraded the ESCs to the latest BL Heli. The BL Heli pass-through works great. Um, on, I use it on a clean flight, and I were, was able to get those upgraded, and decided I would just go ahead and upgrade the flight controller to beta flight. So um, I had a bit of a problem up, upgrading the firmware to beta flight. It does not work straight away using the... Um, the UI for beta flight. In fact, you can't even upgrade clean flight. Even uh, pressing the boot pins did not really work. Um, however, the um, the boot pins did allow. Sorry, the boot pins did allow me to get it into uh, programming mode for the um, ST um, processor. So the ST32 processor. So um, once you're able to get the um, processor into programming mode, and the way you do that, and um, I don't have a picture of the back, I don't have a big picture of the back of the fly controller, but on the back of the fly controller, there's a um, silk screen on there is the boot, but it's very tiny, and there's two little tiny boot pads. I was able to get my screwdriver in there and hold it down and plug in the USB, and the USB. Um, showed up, it showed up um, in DFU mode. And once you're in DFU mode, you can actually go and use the ST, 
ST Electronics uh, software packages that are available for download to um, go ahead and uh, take the Betaflight um, hex file and create an image and then just upload it to the the flight controller directly using the ST Electronics and after I was after I was able to do that I'm able to connect using Betaflight uh, no problem so um, so upgraded to Betaflight it's a bit tricky um, if there's any requests for um, the steps for doing that I will be happy to uh, put together a, a quick video on that okay well I'm gonna button it up um, put the props on and try to get out and do maybe a little uh, maiden just to get it hovering. I mean, it's very windy outside. Maybe I'll just uh, fly it a bit in my living room just to see if I can get it hovering off the ground a bit. So um, that's it. Everything's looking pretty good. Um, I will um, create a new video um, after everything is together and I'm flying and give updates on um, how things are and my opinions on how this build worked out. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Have a great day.